You may have heard of dry January, you know, a month where people challenge themselves to abstain from alcohol and reflect on their consumption habits. Well, what about dry October? That's what tens of millions of Americans in the eastern U.S. are going through now, whether they want to or not. A persistent weather pattern with strong high pressure parked over the eastern half of the country has left some major metropolitan areas bone dry so far this month. Take a look. New York City, Philadelphia, and Atlanta. These are three locations yet to see a single drop of rain through the first three weeks of October. And with high pressure still firmly in control, there may not be an opportunity for significant rain in these areas over the coming week. Right now, the Big Apple has a slight chance Wednesday night, maybe 20% that they get a shower or two, but it doesn't look like a very good chance. That area is abnormally dry. You can see Philadelphia is in moderate drought with severe drought just north of Atlantic City. Very dry for that part of the country. Now, down in Atlanta, a little different situation. They had that heavy rain, the tropical rain associated with Helene in September. So Atlanta is actually in pretty good shape as far as rainfall goes right now. Now, for Hampton Roads, we're not in bad shape, but our October has been and continues to be quite dry. Since the early part of the month, you can see since the very first day, we've only had six hundredths of an inch total at the airport. So for the month of October, we're sitting 2.64 inches below average and with no good chances for rain in sight over the coming 10 days or so. It's looking like October 2024 is going to be one of the driest on record for Norfolk. We did have heavier rain earlier in the year, but since September 1st, we're 3.62 inches below average. So you take a look, first of all, for the year, just to put your mind at ease, we're still 3.18 inches above average. A lot of rain early on. But with this dry weather we've had, September and October, we are below average. Again, 3.62 inches below average since September 1st. Now, we're not currently in drought because we had so much rain early in the year, so it looks like we're going to come through this dry October in pretty good shape as long as we don't follow it up with a no rain November. We'll see.